Okay, I'm gonna start this video by saying dang, and dang again. Um, yeah, I have a problem. Uh, as you see my big square baler here. Um, had a little bit of an issue today. Oh, here's a hiding part right here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. But you can look at my Yammerin jaw as I'm about ready to embark on an adventure that I'm not really in the mood to do. But it's one of those things. One of those things. The um, reason I have to embark on this adventure is because I had an accident. Now, I had an accident. I actually think I lost my damn chain. What the hell is that about? Anyway, uh, you have accidents in this world and you have collisions. You know my chain is in there. Thank God it's over 200 bucks for that thing. Uh, as you can see, well, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to face it and I've jacked it up and put a block and maybe you can see what's wrong uh, as I can the right side is listing it's falling uh, I completely that wheel as you can see it's bent it's bent so what happened is this tire went down into a hole into a hole and it hung up. Hold on a second. Maybe I can get this thing here. You can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that out of there or not. Oh, yeah. Well, you know. Okay. Uh, so, I trashed that thing. Um, let's see if I can show you the spine of this thing. I don't know. It's bent here. Right here, this is bent inward. And I'm going to actually just pull the whole header off. I'm going to pull the whole header off and see how bad it really is. Um, look for broken parts underneath it. And then I'm just going to go from there. Uh, let me get this out of the way. I've had to disconnect the 8120. And that's going to go in to be cleaned because it's filthy. Um, yeah, I've got my glove on. So I'm just kind of going to go through this here rather rapidly because, um, you know, I don't have so much time to post a video. And that one's straight, and this one's not. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull that hay out of there, and I'm going to pull that whole entire header off. That thing's going to drop down. I'm going to put it on a couple. Of, I'm going to actually take the skid steer and put the forks in slide it underneath and pull that whole header out and away from there. It's not as heavy as it looks. I've never done this before on a New Holland baler or any other big baler or little baler before. So there's a first time for everything. And this is just going to be the start of discovery phase as to how I'm going to fix this thing. Uh, I'll have it off of there yet tonight. And then I'm going to, because it's Sunday, and yeah, it's getting dark in here, uh, twist it off a shaft right here that shaft is gone so that'll have to come out that goes into the main drive which I'm gonna get some lights and stuff on here I'm shocked that that twisted off uh, that hold on a second. that thing should not have twisted off because it uh, it has a slip clutch on the back side of it and here's the here's the remainder here's what it here's what it looks like right now uh, let's see if get it out in the sunlight uh, yeah just twisted it just ping broke it right off so that one's history it's easy enough the, the sprocket's fine I'm just gonna take that off and I'll go ahead and get that out of there so I just want to get this thing started start getting it apart now uh, it's pretty simple as far as the uh, of dropping it it's really just a couple of of uh, flanges so what I'll do is I'll pull this panel off and I'll be able to get in there and I'll disconnect all these uh, the little plastic lines and then I'll drop it away uh, worst worst case scenario is I have to replace the whole header best case scenario is that I don't have to replace the whole header uh, I'll just be able to weld it back together but I've noticed this the last uh, few weeks a couple of weeks that there's a lot and I mean, well, it's not doing it now. <laughs> of course not. Yeah, a lot of flop going on there. And I don't like that at all. 
Matter of fact, I don't want it to do that at all, but it's really bent. You can see that's bent. So what I'll do is I'll drop it away, I'll probably just bang those back together, get them straightened out, and that might just cure the problem. Uh, but if it's bent underneath, which I don't see that it is, I mean, I, I don't see, I, it's got a slight bow to it, but I think that's because, well, it's straight. But uh, I think it's just here. So what I'll do is I'll pull it off, I'll bang that back together, stuff it back up in there, and uh, if there's any um, broken welds or anything, I'll weld them and we'll go from there. So anyways, just hang on to your top hats, and uh, yeah, that's what I'm up to. That's what I'm up to, broken baler. And I need this thing back in the field as soon as possible because i got like a couple hundred acres of ground, hay on the ground, and this is the first stretch of decent weather I've gotten, and I trashed the baler. Stupid ass. My fault, too. I mean, it's, I was running it. And I knew the ditch was there. It's just a washout, but it stopped. And I was talking to Peyton in the, in the tractor, and next thing I know, the tractor stops. And I got my foot on the clutch real quick. But that's it. That's it. Hey, it's the next day. Day after the beginning of this ordeal. I've got the skid steer here with the fork on a tire. The tire is there. I have applied the brakes to this machine so that I don't have it rolling on me uh, because it is just on a, on a wooden block there. Now I've got that holding that down and I've got this jack here actually putting a shit ton of pressure on this, on this, uh, yeah on this uh, pickup and what I'm gonna end up doing is actually taking a jack and jacking that across. This whole thing has to come off because I got bent parts but actually you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna release it down. I'm hoping that it springs back into where it belongs. Somebody just came in here. I don't know who that was. Must have been my pickup, the 550. So that it actually looks pretty straight there. Um, it actually does look very straight. So I've got that falling away. If I could just get this thing straightened out, then I don't have to really have that spine. Now I've bought some other parts. I bought this piece here. I bought a new tire and rim because that thing's screwed up. The tire's okay, but the rim's screwed up. That <coughs> that shaft there, I've replaced. Bought, I bought that shaft. <coughs> just a spline shaft, no real big deal. Uh, the expensive part is actually this not or, or this pickup frame. It's at twenty six hundred bucks almost. So, uh, and I bought some other uh, pickup tines and shit like that. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and pull this thing off of here uh, pretty quickly. I'm going to do that like now. Okay, I'm about ready to pull this thing off of here if I can get my my hammers and stuff in there. I've got this flange. You actually have to take this funky looking bearing gizmo out of there. It's it's kind of stupid with the how they got this set up. The flange is one thing. But the bearing is actually not normal. It goes onto a funky little sleeve with threads on it, and that sleeve comes off. It's weird. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and slap that off of there and uh, pull this header off onto the ground. Okay, so what I'm going to do actually is move all this stuff here that's in my way. And I'm going to come in with a skid steer and I'm going to suck those little devils together, uh, the forks on that thing. I think I can probably just roll it out. I don't know, it doesn't look too difficult right now. It slid right to hell off of there. And this here is just, you ever wonder what the inside of a uh, New Holland baler looks like? Um, and this is what I was talking about with this weird bearing setup. Some kind of a friggin' weird ass flange, but we're gonna put that back on there. You know, it looks to me like there was supposed to be some kind of a, oh, that hurt. It's just a, it's some kind of a compression deal. But anyway, yeah, we'll deal with that later. Um, wow. So yeah, that rotor is one expensive thing if you didn't know. But this is what makes the machine, this thing here. It looks like it would chew you up and spit you out pretty 
pretty badly. Um, <laughs> at least I think it would. But anyhow, yeah, this is the damage. Right there, that's some of the damage. Here's some damage here. Um, which I don't think this is going to be too bad. I'm just going to start beating on it with a sledgehammer and bring it back. It didn't break anything there. Uh, underneath, I won't really know. I think I can pull this plate here off and get that straightened out. Uh, I'm not sure whether it has an inherent... I think it does. I think it's supposed to be flat, to be quite honest with you. It's supposed to be straight and, and it's bent. So, you can see where the rotor was banging into it a little. Ow, fuck, that got me. Damn fisher. Anyway, yeah, excuse the language, I guess. Uh, yeah, so anyways, let me get this son of a gun out of here. I'm going to pull that chain off the other side. All right, I'll get back to it. Get back to it.